I want to talk about the model based controller designing method by the first starting to to talk about what we need about model based designing method whenever you have solved up an an engineering problem using formulas you can you have been used a model let's say you designing a heat exchanger and you have a duty q q and equal to q equal to u a and a u a and delta t let's consider change the equation by according to the different variable of a a in terms of a that to be that in other words we start with the known values for u and a uh, delta t and calculate the value of duty that is q this is this is a rating problem but based on the certain model how it is a transferred in in some cases we will be using uh, using the opposite direction in terms of a and that tip a equal to we will rewrite the equation in terms of a and a equal to q upon u by delta t and what we done here is now so so i design a problem because the other specification assuming the u and directors on u typically not within the control of we chosen and interview gonna for a just looking at a heat exchanger with a standing there to know the determining the required area for for a new heat exchanger now to place the into a controller terms we we also have a, an actual forward direction if if we have a transfer function with a with a known input and y and if we are trying to figure out what is our output and the often in the form of the step input to, and but we have a known z and we have calculate the y would be with the similar to the forward or the simulation direction now if if we are solving in the opposite direction so in the other words we what happen if i want certain y they 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 want to transfer function with a certain time constant now now i calculate the g with and g should be the design problem so given some desired relationship behavior what can uh, how can i now the process is very similar to calculating the desired z as as it was we are calculating the desired v we rewrite the equation so we interpret the block diagram over over here is equivalent to to this equation and therefore if we calculate g v we can isolate g and z y over u so this why we have a known y and we can calculate g of of course our problem in the as simple as that because sometimes z is itself made of of the others blocks so it it may be there is a overall behavior we could call z and then this should be the relationship uh, u and y but but we can imagine the an ordinary complex connection different different blocks being being put together in in order to obtain the overall behavior and and so i could have a uh, and be over here and uh, perhaps this parts in within my control and want to know what are this now it is really basics of the direct synthesis model based controlling design now let's see it from it's a theoretical point of view as it as it is a, a 
direct synthesis control. In this various process control methods such as the Ziegler Nicholas and the Cohen 2 method, we first pick the process model and then the controller to see the response of the process. And where we pick the process model and we pick the controller. After picking the both, we see the response of our output. Now, where, where the direct direct control synthesis we first pick the process and then the response of the process to find out the controller type we pick the process model or we pick the response after that after that we find the controller type now the block diagram of uh, of the unity feedback closed loop system shown below where x and y is uh, x is the input and y is the output Now, if we analyze the closed loop system, we will find when the GC is the transfer function of the control and GV is the transfer function of the sensor value, etc. The term y the term y by x represent a response of the output to the change in the input. So, if we specify the transfer function that represent the sensor value transfer function of a process, and we specify desired response, we can find out whether the control transfer function should be and and only we can find the value of the relevant parameter. At last, it. Uh, now, if we choose choose the first order dynamic having a transfer function y by x is equal to 1 by tau s plus 1. This is a simple transfer function chosen at any analytical point of view. If our gv is equal to 1 by k, gv is equal to k upon tau s plus 1 is given, then our gc is given by 1 by gv, y upon x upon 1 minus 1 minus y by x. After equating, um, after equating GV, GV and GC, we get the value of GC which is equal to the uh, finalized value of the GC is equal to the 1 by tau s plus 1 into tau s 1 tau into uh, tau plus 1 by s. After computing this, uh, we it is a theoretical so that we can conclude that uh, sometimes our controller controller synthesize can be physically unreliable or uh, impractical.